हेलो वेलकम टू एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन टुएल्व लेक्चर्स आर कवर फ्रॉम लेक्चर नंबर वन टू लेक्चर नंबर सेवेन वी डिसकस द सल्यूशन ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बाय फोवेनियस मेथड स्पेशली वी डिसकस अबाउट लेजेंडरी पोलोनिमियल बेसेंस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड हार्मोइड पोलोनिमियल इफ यू वॉन्ट्स टू वॉच द प्रिवियस लेक्चर यू कैन गो थ्रू दि डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड लेक्चर नम्बर एट टू लेक्चर नम्बर टुएल्व उ डिसकस अबाउट द पार्सियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सल्यूशन बै सेपारेशन अफ भेरिएबल एंड उ डिसकस अबाउट द लैग्रेज सरि लैपलस इक्वेशन इन रेक्टेंगुलर सिलिंड्रिकल एंड स्पेरिकल कोअर्डिनेट सिसटेम द लास्ट लेक्चर उ डिसकस अबाउट दि वेब इक्वेशन सल्यूशन और भाइब्रेटिंग भाइब्रेशनल मोड in the string one dimensional actually we discuss in this lecture number 13 we discuss once to the solution of the vibrational mode of rectangular and the circular membrane that is in two dimension solution we wants to discuss here for that you need to remember the bessel equation and bessel solution such that so i think you already was the previous lecture such that you can progress the uh, in this lecture you can understand the solution of this lecture okay so uh, uh, you first was the previous lecture then go through this one this will be helpful for you okay so let's start you can see this uh, portion already discussed lecture number 1 to 7 and this portion actually discuss in the previous up to uh, lecture 8 to 11, uh, 12 clear i think clear about the route of this series of this lecture series go to the today's lecture that is the wave equation and its solution of vibration mode rectangular membrane suppose you have a rectangular membrane this wall actually private whose boundaries are like that this is 0 0 this is lb that means its length is l and the breadth is b okay so you can see there will be a two dimension because there is a two dimension uh, plane rectangular plane and we take rectangular coordinate system that is a cartesian coordinate system so the laplace operator or the gradient uh, laplacian operator can be written as like that in case of three dimension there will be z also but here this will be the up to two dimension and this is the equation you know okay so boundary condition is that that at, at that point uh, that means along that direction Along that, this uh, along that at this four boundary, this will be zero. Okay, four boundary, this will be zero. And initially, this have a some value, and this velocity will be some value. That means velocity and this uh, displacement actually will be the constant. Okay, so these are the boundary condition and the initial condition. So you can take this as a separation of variable method. You can know the separation of variation method. so just uh, take the three variable x y and t and partial derivative put in this equation you will be get these things you can see these are the separate out so take the separation constant and the corresponding time solution will be like that and the rest one was the x and y will be like that separate this x and y you will be get this solution of x and the solution of y this is the solution of t time this is for solution x and this y will be solution like that so the total solution will be like that where this okay now using the boundary condition that at x0 y and t this is zero so put this value you will be get c0 and for x y0 this is value gives you e equals to zero so these two condition multiply and given in like that so this will be the two solution now take this equation you will be get sin alpha l equals to 0 if you put this equation you will be get sin alpha l equals to 0 so you will be get the value of alpha similarly you will get value of beta if you put this two solution will be like that there will be two summation because this n and m are varies from 0 to infinity clear and we take here m equals to 1 for if you put this value 0 this is become 0 that's why you take this and the derivative will be like that so if you put this initial condition you will be get this constant value these two are the constant value and the corresponding solution will be like that i think clear about the process there will be the two dimension that's why the summation are like that okay that's the define if there is any problem to understand this solution you can comment in the comment box go to the next one uh, okay so this is the solution go to the next one 
नेक्स्ट वन इज द वेब इक्वेशन एंड इट सल्यूशन फॉर द सर्कुलर मेम्ब्रेन इफ दिस इज सर्कुलर सिमेट्री सो दिस लैप्लसियन ऑपरेटर कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दैट एंड द बाउंडरी कंडीशन दैट एट दिस बाउंडरी दिस इज जीरो एंड द इनिशियली दिस विल बी टू दिस दिस इज कांस्टेंट एंड देयर वेलोसिटी आल्सो कांस्टेंट राइट सो इफ यू टेक दिस पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सॉल्यूशन मेथड दिस इज दिस द फंक्शन ऑफ r थीटा एंड t एंड दिस पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव पुट इन दिस इक्वेशन विल बी गेट दिस थिंग्स एंड द टाइम आर टेक सेपरेट आउट सो दिस इज द सेपरेशन कांस्टेंट टाइम वेरिएबल विल बी लाइक दैट for the rest one theta is separate out theta solution will be like that and you can see this r is rearranging with respect to uh, with, with replacement j equals to lambda r and calculating you can see this will, equation will be arises and which is nothing but the bessel's equation whose solution will be like that but you know at r equals to 0 we, here we put j equals to lambda r, okay so at r equals to 0 this must be finite but this is becomes infinite that's why sorry this become infinite that's why this f equals to 0 so the solution will be like that mm, and use this uh, boundary condition you can see this is the 0 so the bases zeros of bases are this value for which this value this becomes 0 the basis function will be 0 so from where will we get the base value of n and after that using this condition that is the partial derivative will be uh, like that so from where will we get the another constant okay so the solution will be like that and the one thing more this is the symmetric you can see the boundary condition uh, that is the minus pi by 2 plus pi is the symmetric function so for symmetry this sign function will be zero for the symmetry cos is to the symmetry so the sign function will be zero that's why there is no sign function so you can zero in the initial this one due to explaining that that is the uh, this symmetry of the theta sign is not symmetric function that's why this becomes zero so only cos function will be arises here here also cos function is arises so yeah. this is the solution okay so i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment this is all about me this is my contact details. you can connect with me with this telegram channel this is my online platform and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get the defined facilitated video and like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends other he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and those already subscribed thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we'll meet you in the next video as soon as possible thank you